Greetings, and this is Christmas week, and we want to take time this week just to reflect on how wonderful Jesus is to us as we lead up to Christmas Day, and uh, where we will take time to just uh, uh, look to Jesus, thank Him for coming into this world, uh, for being our Lord, our Savior, and for doing all that He did, and for all that He is to us today. Uh, we want to just take this week to fall in love with Jesus all over again. And so each day this week, uh, I'm just going to highlight uh, some aspect of our wonderful Lord, of our blessed Jesus, so that we could just look to Him and thank Him for all He means to us today. In 1 John chapter 4 and verse 19, John wrote, We love Him because He first loved us. And I want, to just, I want us to just meditate on the fact that Jesus is the lover of our soul. We love Him because He first loved us and He still loves us. And He's the one who still loves us first. Even when times when our love for, for the Lord may, you know, be sometimes weakening or sometimes we get distracted and we get so busy with all the things in this world, and we don't even seem to have time to pay attention to Jesus. He still loves us. And He first, He does it first. He's the one who pursues us with that wonderful love. And He is the lover of our soul. And if there's any time that we ever doubt or question or wonder, you know, does He love me? We must remind ourselves, He first loved us. Even when, you know, we had no thought, even when we didn't know Him, we had no idea of, you know, all that He came to do, all that He did for us on the cross, and we had no thought about Him, He first loved us. And I want to just remind you and me today that He still loves you. He is the lover of our souls. He is the one who still loves you very much. And so take time today to say, Lord Jesus, thank you for being the lover of my soul. You're the one who loves me. You're the one who first loved me. You're the one who first pursued me. You're the one who first came after me. And this Christmas season, when we take time to remember that the incarnation, when God became a man, He did it to show us that He first loved us. He took the first step to reaching us. So rest in His love. Receive His love. Be assured of His love and thank Him for loving you and me. Jesus is still the lover of our souls. He still pursues us. Oh, what a wonderful Jesus we have, and we need to thank Him over and over and over again for His love towards us. Let's pause. Let's take a moment to pray, and let's just give Him thanks for being the lover of our souls. Lord Jesus, this Christmas season, when we remember, Lord, that You came into this world, and you did it to express your love for us. And today, Lord, we acknowledge that we love you because you first loved us. And Lord, we want to love you even more. And we want to fall in love with you, Jesus, over and over again. And we want to enjoy the freshness of your love for us. And we want our love for you to be fresh and to be renewed afresh. We thank you for being the one who first loved us. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.